Así que si te soy Yo yo Sambe se te gui Sunny Vonani Ninja ni Makayo Gaman Sal Sabang Altino for game, but don't you ever forget to put the great uh, before that name or else it is a blast for me. Welcome to another episode of Spill the Tea. Well, the tea always gets spilled. This is entertainment on a daily. This is me giving you the best things that are happening within the entertainment industry. And to the great Kala Ribuaka Taba Eling, a very simple one as well, aka the super villain is back. AKA has once again trended for all the right reasons. And those reasons are him being the best him that he can ever be. And that's being a super villain. This after a fan had texted AKA and told him how much he was. A fan of this, it was more or less of like a stand. Remember how Stan was writing a letter to Eminem? It was almost similar to that. How a fan was telling him how much he likes him and how much he appreciates him, and then AKA just brushed him off when he wanted him to um listen to his beats. Then AKA was like, How do I answer this? You people always want us to put you on your backs and carry you on our backs and carry you up the ladder into stardom. And this is not how it works. And then everybody was trying to tell how AKA is being a bad person. And AKA told them, well, you're the same people that were telling me, Uguti, uh, when I have a new girlfriend, Mega Allah Lenge, Perishut, because of what the, the tragic incident that happened to Anna. So he went and told people of all the bad things that they did. And the Mega C was full force back. Even Chris Axel was glad and says, <laughs> Sega Buyil, Sega Buyil, or AKA, man, the super villain is back and I am here for it. And I love it because I love him when he is the super villain. So shout out for AKA, man, for standing up for himself and not allowing people to kick him while he was down and for always showing the Nina a fuck y'all in all the honest words that he can possibly say it so that's what happened and then if we go across and go right across the world we're gonna see how rihanna is now carrying a baby a baby that is uh yeah asap rocky and people were making so much jokes about uh drake how drake was not going to like the fact that she is having a baby with ASAP. People came up with rhymes of how it would have sounded. The ones that I said, it was like, uh, I was driving back from Philly when I need, when I heard the news and I you know it was really, you know, something like that. But yeah, blah, blah, not a rapper. But yeah, I also had some of my parts. I want to say like, you know how Drake would sound if he would make a song about Rihanna falling pregnant. So Rihanna's pregnant and uh, the baby daddy is ASAP Rocky. People are also using the cover at with the pictures of her. Uh, 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 Rihanna wearing her, 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 her famous um, jackets. So people were just going after him, making fun of him. And then on Podcast and Chill, man, on Podcast and Chill, one of the most beautiful things happened. We had the leader, the revolutionary, the man that took SABC to Mr. 90%. Mr. 90% did an end that day. Shaudi um, Mutsweni was on a Podcast and Chill, and he talked about a lot of things that happened when he was still in the, in, in, in the SABC and how he came about bringing transformation into the SABC and how he wanted 90% of local songs to be the ones that are playing within the country and 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 10 percent locally and how that caused the stir and how that uh, made a lot of airwaves he also talked about how he gave people three years contracts uh with people getting paid every month from artists to presenters and whatnot not people got april of us you know, so am i still here or not you know it was that as well and what else happened this week what else happened this week um pretty hd man pretty hd took a uh, took a um, was that's what we call this? He took a photo shoot yesterday, a very beautiful photo shoot, a photo shoot that is meant uh, to show love to your. These are photos that are gonna come on the 14th of February on Valentine's Day. It is to show love to you guys for what you have done for him, uh, for his music, and 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 for him as as a, as an act. So he's has been that, and he just wants to give a lot of fun to that. And then one of the most amazing things happened. Fuck it up is coming back. The return of fuck it up is coming back the 19th of March. We are going back to fuck it up. We don't know the venue yet. We don't know the artist yet. But we are going to fuck it up on the 19th of March. Fuck it up is back. So make sure that you coop your tickets right now. And make sure that you are one of the first people to go in or go fuck it up. So fuck it up is back, man. Porsche people are going wild on that. Fuck it up is back. Another news, man. On Porsche stream, like it's uh, Juice K. Juice K says he's not going to release the deluxe. Yeah, I was raised by R&B. Rather, he's going to uh, to release tape. I think it's or something like that. I'll post it right here so you can know what it is. But he's not going to release it as uh, I was born by R&B deluxe. But it's, gonna, it's either going to release it as the tape EP. So shout out to him on that and then uh finally man a gift og we've been talking about his ep the journey ep is now out you can stream it 
anywhere across your social media platforms, man, and ensure that you have that right here with you. And that is all that happened on the entertainment industry. Uh, oh, one of the other things, man. Now, you're no longer going to be hearing me on Motswako Live on 90.0 megahertz. Unfortunately, because of contact lessons, I am no longer on, uh, on the afternoon drive. However, man, you can still see me here on spill the tea you can also see me uh, on my insta lives i'm gonna do insta lives the first one that is coming up is the one that i have with happy meal uh, on, on on the 9th which is wednesday with happy meal we're having our first insta live uh, so tune in let us do that man let's go and do that so yeah man nothing else this episode is sponsored and is brought to you by slash kicks slash kicks is a is, a, is an online store for your favorite your favorite shoes, man, your Nikes, your N uh, your new balances, your Adidas, your Puma, whatever sneaker that you like, uh, slash kicks has it for you. Slash kicks is owned by Koke So, which is Seho Koke on Instagram. Check her out, check slash kicks out, and I will leave the description right down there on the description box. Where can you get those uh, items? Tako slash kicks. So in short, man, okay, we have slash kicks, you buy your kicks, and you're always on top. I can't even talk about the same again, but don't you ever forget to put the great before that beautiful name, or else it is a blasphemy. I got three words for you, man, and stay real, and stay talking, and stay awesome. I'm actually, it's like Peter Happy, and can't make it. I got the cash in the